to my crazy life. It's Lori and today I have a review or a love it or leave it type um, review of some of the Dollar Tree beauty products that I have been trying over the last couple weeks. So I want to share with you the things I like, the things that maybe I don't like or probably would not buy again, but I've got a whole bunch of stuff here and I definitely want to share it with you. Uh, today we have coffee. It's like 5.30 in the morning. I couldn't sleep, so I'm up. So let's get into it. First of all, we're going to start with the 5-Minute Tooth Whitening Kit. I tried this for five days, and I will insert some pictures here in a second of my teeth. Um, I used about half the tube, so it's a very generous amount of the product which it's water glycerin peroxide and I think baking soda um, there is no flavor though no taste that I could discern good or bad um, it was gel like which is kind of gross on your teeth but whatevs um, the mouthpiece is kind of small not gonna lie um, but I have a small mouth so it fits me perfectly. Um, it's gonna get just your front teeth. You put the jelly stuff inside and you use it for five minutes night, morning and night after you brush your teeth. It was not unpleasant. It didn't taste weird, like I said, it didn't do anything, but I'm not sure that it did a whole lot either for my teeth. Now keep in mind, I'm a coffee drinker and tea, so I'm kind of counteracting any teeth whitening. Um, I did not get any sensitivity either, which is nice, but I'm not sure that I got a whole lot of whitening either. I may try it again in the future, but that is the Natural White 5 Minute Whitening Kit. And for a dollar, I mean, it's not bad. I think maybe if I used it longer, it just takes, I think with the peroxide and baking soda, it just takes longer. Um, my next love it are these pads, which I talk about all the time that I bought. Um, one of my subscribers said that she bought these and she uses them with like her micellar water to take makeup off. Perfect. I use them in the shower to scrub my face. Um, these are terry cloth and they have a little scrubby on the back and they are machine washable. I love these. And as a side note, Peggy Kurt, I believe, left a message saying that she puts them in her cup holder in her car, which I did that, and they're amazing. It just soaks up all the sweat, especially with summer coming and your drinks kind of get moist on the outside. Perfect. And they fit snugly in my drink holder and don't come out. So that's a twofer. Definitely love it. I buy these all the time. Um, the next thing I love is these. The LA Colors, what are they called? Nail Deco Art. Nail Art. They are really nice. Um, obviously, you need to practice. They have a really fine bristle. Very opaque. I love it. And they come in a myriad of colors. Definitely worth a dollar. If you like to paint your nails. I use this to do a French manicure. And it worked out perfect. So, love it. Staying in the vein of the nail polish, I love the clear bottom and top coat. Um, this is LA Colors base coat and top coat. I like the clear. I can give or take the paint colors. They're not the best. They chip pretty easy, but they're fun and they're cheap. They're not bad. Um, I just prefer a different brand, but I love the clear for sure. And then one last thing in the nail section that I absolutely love are these decals. And what they are, I'll show you one, is they're stickers. There's no other way to put it. They are stickers. Now, um, I usually just use them on one or two fingers. I've not done a whole hand of them, but they do last. So there you go, they're a sticker. What I do is I have this stuff here and you, I paint it on my nails because I have an oily nail bed and so nail polish peels right off for me but if I use this stuff which is from CND it's called sticky and when it dries it dries tacky 
and it keeps my nail polish on. I use this all the time, obviously the size of the bottle I buy. And then I put this on and then I put clear over it and they last and they're super cute for like an accent nail. You could do your whole set of nails. I love these. And for a dollar, you really cannot beat the price. And they come, you know, all different designs and they're super fun for summertime. So these are on my love it, would buy it again list. For sure. Um, another item that I buy all the time are these cotton rounds. I Not only do I use them for nail polish, makeup removal, I use them in my craft room all the time. In conjunction with one of these bottles. This is rubbing alcohol. You could put nail polish remover in here. Bought this at the Dollar Tree. You um, put your product in it. And then you pump this thing and it pulls the liquid up and saturates your round. So if you have nail polish remover, you can put your micellar water in here. I mean, there's a, a hundred things you can do. I use it for crafting when I use my Cricut or I need to clean something if I'm going to paint on it. And this is rubbing alcohol. And I buy these and I use them in both my craft room and my beauty. I mean, what a bonus. Love them. And I definitely want to go pick up a couple more of those. Um, I bought this Skin Nutritions. Oh, I don't know if it's too bright for you to see. It's the um, Skin Nutritions. I think this is Global Beauty. Nope, this is Skin Nutritions brand. It is the, I get the hyaluronic acid, 1% plus vitamin C serum. Comes in a glass bottle like this. And the bottle has a, uh, I'm not sure if you can see, but that is thick. E. And it's really nice. I put it under my moisturizer. It has a slight scent to it, but nothing, I'll just rub it in. Nothing really strong. I'm assuming there's some type of a fragrance in here. I love this. It does really make my skin feel softer. And if you can see, I have some sun damage on my lip that in the summertime when I'm out in the sun gets super red. And this really does help. Now, I put a couple drops on and then I put my regular moisturizer on that I use. Um, obviously, I'll buy it again because I have two bottles of that. Um, and I will tell you, I have really sensitive skin. And this has not caused me any type of irritation or burning um, you have to be very careful what I put on my face. Generally, I use Aveeno products or some L'Oreal for dry, sensitive skin. But this does not burn and it does not cause any discomfort. That's a buy it again. Um, and then all of our tried and true favorites, the Bolero wipes. I absolutely love these. I love them. I buy them all the time. I want to show you what they look like if you have not. They're decent sized white and they're super thick. I mean, they're really nice and thick and these are moist and they feel nice. The fragrance isn't very strong, which is good. I mean, this is supposed to be watermelon mint, but I'm not really getting too much of a scent, but that's good because fragrance really isn't great for your skin. These are wonderful. I use them to not only remove makeup, but also I keep some in my bag in the summertime when I'm out and about just to freshen up. Like it gets sweaty and gross and you can just wipe your face with these. They are great. And you get 30 of them for $1. Would definitely buy these again. Part of the Bolero product. What I won't buy of the Bolero product again was the shower gel. Um, it just didn't do anything for me. Did it wash? I'm sure there was the scent really wasn't there. Um, it didn't lather really good and it's kind of thin. So I personally don't enjoy it. It's not bad. It's just not something I would buy again. Um, but yeah, the wipes definitely. I bought the, out of the new stuff from Bolero, this face serum. Now I do not use this on my face because it is highly fragranced. So that makes me a little nervous. Yeah, there's a ton of fragrance, but it smells amazing. But what I do use this for is my cuticles. I put it on my nails after I paint them, and it does amazing. I just put it on, and I rub it around and let it soak in, 
I bought this one and the coconut and sea salt and it really really does a good job um, I won't put it on my face like I said just because of the amount of fragrance that's in it and I get nervous for breakouts but um, it's amazing on my cuticles I know that's not what it's meant for but you know whatever you do what you gotta do and this one is the hibiscus and pink clay and it's amazing oh it smells so good in that same new line, I bought these little hand creams. Now, the big bottles of lotion, I don't buy. They're thin. They don't really do much for me. Um, they feel sticky. I don't like them. But these little, they come in a two-pack. Mm, coconut and rose water. Um, it's not, these are the cream, so not the lotion. It's not super thick but it feels nice going on i'm just rubbing some in it's um it's got like a cooling effect to it which is kind of weird and nice at the same time i don't i'm not mad at that um it doesn't get sticky okay maybe a tiny little bit before it dries but that's lotion for you and it feels nice um definitely these little two packs i would buy again I don't buy the big bottles of lotion. Um, I just don't feel like they do anything for me. And again, this only stays on my hands because of it's very highly fragrance, which I love. Oh, coconut and rose. It's amazing. These are really nice. So I definitely recommend these little lotions if you can get your hands on them. A lot, and this, these two things came out recently with the Bolero line. Love them. And then the last thing in the Bolero line that I love to buy are these bath salts. All the bath salts. Now, typically I bathe with Epsom salt. Um, it's really good for dry skin, for damaged skin, um, eczema. It's very medicinal. It's good for muscle health. So what I do in my bath is I put like two cups of Epsom salt. I put some of these. And then I put some um, Aveeno Moisture Bath in my tub. It's like a cocktail to soak in, but I have really dry skin and it makes my skin feel so nice. So I love these bath salts. They are fragrant, so if, you're that, if your body is super sensitive, be careful. The other thing, and I think her name is Jennifer Morrow's uh, channel, she buys these, puts them in the little mesh bags that they sell in like the wedding section and the baby shower section and put them in your car. I'm gonna do that this summer. This is the coconut and sea salt. Oh my, it just smells like um, not Hawaiian Tropic suntan oil is what this smells like. Oh, it's amazing. I love it. So I'm going to try that. I'm going to put it in a bag and throw it in my car and see. You can put little sachets in your bathroom. You can pour these in like a candle holder and use them to like hold up a glass candle and you'll get this scent with a plain candle. Uh, for a dollar, that's a fair amount, too. So I definitely recommend the bath salts. And that's pretty much all I buy from the Bolero line. Oh, no, I lie. Um, I like the bath bombs, too. They work really well. There's not a whole lot to them. Excuse me, on my nose. It's allergy season. Um, there's not a whole lot to the bath bombs, but they're fun. And they make your water, you know, nice. Because I do love good bath. I do. All right, now, the new Global Beauty stuff. I tried the exfoliating foot bath mask. It says, peels away calluses and dead skin cells, exfoliates and moisturizes convenient wearable mask socks. Yes, they are convenient wearable mask socks. They did moisturize. That's it. These did nothing. Um, what I did is I, I'll show you what they look like because I probably won't do these again. Um, so what you do, this is the thing. And they're huge. So, I mean, I could say a man could use these like a man with a big foot. You cut the top off and then you slide your foot in. And then what I do, and I learned this from using the baby foot, which does work, but it's expensive is I um, put these on and then I take like some of those fleece fat socks, like the squish wintery, they sell them at the Dollar Tree, and I slide socks on over these to get the maximum contact with my foot. Because this is huge. And if your foot doesn't touch the chemical, it's not gonna work. So I put this on and then I put a sock on. And that works with the moisturizing ones as well. 
Um, and then I left them on for the full 90 minutes. It said an hour to an hour and a half. I left them on for 90 minutes. It's been six days, nothing. No peeling, no nothing. Um, you know, maybe moisturizer, but I can't really say that. I put moisturizer on my feet every day. So, you know, they, when they came off, they felt soft, but I did not get any exfoliating. So I would say this is a dud and I would not, I would not purchase this one again, but I have an extra in case I want to try it one more time. Um, I did like this one. These are the moisturizing ones. I enjoyed this one. And I did the same thing. I put it on, I put a sock over it, and I left it on for a half an hour. And this one just is a moisturizing, soothing collagen mask. And I enjoyed this one a lot. I would definitely buy these again. This is my last one. Um, and again, I'm diabetic. I have super dry feet. So that helps. Then we tried the collagen I No. Yes. This is the Cucumber Hydro Gel Under Eye Pads Soothing 15 Minute Eye Therapy. I tried that. I liked it. It's cool. It definitely, I feel moisturized, but it, I love the cooling effect. Um, did I do anything for my puffy eyes? I don't know. I don't really have bad bags unless I don't get enough sleep, um, but it felt nice. Definitely would buy that again. Definitely. Uh, and they are, this is what they come on. It's like a little card and they're stuck to it. And I'm wondering if you could put some, like some of the serum or some type of a, you know, cucumber stuff and reuse them. I don't know that answer. I won't, but they're like little jellied things. And then the lip collagen. I tried this one. It was okay. Um, I don't really feel like it did much for my lips, but it was certainly fun and I would probably do it again if a bunch of girl friends that I wanted to get around do facials. I mean, it didn't hurt. It didn't burn. I don't know that it plumped my lips. <laughs> I have such thin lips. I have no idea. I have a picture or some video of me putting them on so you can see how they look, but yeah. And then these come on a little card like that. Definitely, definitely worth the dollar. And especially these cucumber ones. I'm thinking this summer, these are going to be nice after being out in the sun. I think those are going to be super nice. tried over the last two weeks I mean there's some fun nice finds at the Dollar Tree just keep in mind they're a dollar um, you know you want to take some extra precautions when you put these on make sure you put plenty of clear nail polish seal the edges these are a secret that I love these and it says hand wash and cold water do not bleach do not use fabric softener squeeze out excess water and air dry I just though I don't I don't use fabric softener, but I just throw them in the wash. But you can just, you know, wash them in the sink with a little, um, I would say like facial cleanser would probably be the best thing to wash them in if you're going to wash them in the sink and get them rinsed out. And they dry super fast. I love these. So yeah, that is my beauty review. I hope it was helpful. Um, like, subscribe, share, comment down below if you have any questions or any other products you'd like me to try out from the Dollar Tree. I will be more than happy to do so. All right, everybody, you have a good one, and I will talk to you later.